Hello, welcome to the ASC studio. My name is Lino Gonçalves from Portugal. I'm the chair of the Education Online Task Force for the Specialty Center from the CESC. And I'd like to welcome today Professor Ein Heidbuckel from Belgium. He's the chair of the Education Committee from ERA. We would like to discuss here today, Hein, a few issues regarding the SCAL platform. As you know, it was launched during this Congress in Munich in 2012. And I would like to learn a little bit of the, your perspective from association regarding this e-learning platform. My first question to you is, what is the purpose of the e-learning platform for your association? I think the learning platform perfectly fits into the projects we had from an educational viewpoint in the European Heart Rhythm Association. Um, we want to provide education to different target audiences. And what we will use a scale for is to implement this education, which is already existing for many of those audiences, now in a very structured way in an online platform. We have set out seven different, what we have called, tracks of education directed at different audiences. Uh, two tracks, for instance, cater to electrophysiology fellows in training. One is a track specifically uh, related to device training. The other one is related to interventional electrophysiology. We will also have two tracks with education that is geared toward allied professionals, both hospital employed allied professionals and allied professionals, for instance, working in the industry. We will also have a track of education that is directed to cardiologists in general. And we will have another one that is directed to trained electrophysiologists. It's like a CME track. And finally, we will have a seven track, which is providing education for lay people and patients. And having all these educational plans in mind, the SCAL platform now provides a perfect uh, opportunity to nicely organize all this education for all these audiences. Excellent. And how does the SCALP platform integrate into your association membership strategy? Well, we see that access to SCAL is integral part of the membership. And uh, our members come to a professional society because they want the best information, the latest up-to-date uh, knowledge. And that's exactly what we will provide from an educational viewpoint, of course. Uh, being a member, you can indicate which of the tracks of education you are interested in. And so on a scale you will have access to one or even more of these tracks of education. And uh, what are the perspectives of your association e-learning strategy in terms of SCAL platform? So we, the e-learning e platform, as I said, is a nice formalization of what we had already in place. Um, for the fellows training, for instance, the whole training program that ERA is providing leads at the end to a certification exam. And um, for that exam, you also had to have a, a proof of skills. You had to have a proof of, of, of your knowledge. And that's exactly what the SCAL platform is providing. You can go to different modules of knowledge training. You can also lock your skills. And at the end, that will nicely fit into a whole a combination of requirements you have to have to get your uh, accreditation. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. And uh, the, my final question, what are the benefits for your members to enroll into a scale platform? Uh, in other words, why do you think they should uh, enroll to this uh, platform? Well, as I said, all members will have access to a scale. And I think the big benefit is that it will give a much clearer perspective on where they are in their training, for instance, when they are fellows or allied professionals, or what is new content uh, in fields that they are interested in when they are cardiologists or electrophysiologists. The online platform uh, we will make in a very visual way so that they can nicely see what is new for me, what is interesting for me, and how can I go there. And they will be assured that by a simple uh, in interface, they will have one clickable access to the best uh, and, and latest information. Hein, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.